Hey everybody, I'm back. Yes, it's Amber Fox from Forever A Fox again, and I'm bringing you Week 15's NFL picks for BlackSportsOnline.com. Now, I know everybody missed me last week, and I'm sorry, but your girl had to go out of time and do a little bit of business. But I'll definitely be back for Week 15 and 16, so make sure you watch out for me. We're gonna get it started with the Bengals versus the Colts. Now everybody knows the Colts is coming off. Uh, what can only be described as a shocking loss last week, and they're going to look to get back into their regular form this week against the Bengals. Now, this is two very high-scoring, very high-power offenses, so I expect this to be a very high-scoring game. I think Colts will be able to edge it out, however, 44 to a Bengals 40. Now, the Cowboys and the Falcons, of course, we know last week Tony Romo had a little difficulties, but look for him to try to bounce back this week um, as the Cowboys are now fighting for a playoff spot, and as are the Falcons, so it may be a little tough for them. But I think they'll be able to do it. Cowboys 30 to a Falcons 13. Now, another very close matchup will be the Eagles versus the Giants. Now, this is another game that has huge playoff impl implications, so look for it to be a very tight, very hard-fought game. But I think the Giants will be able to slightly edge out Philly 27 to an Eagles 26. Now, the Chiefs versus the Chargers. Now, the Chargers have been dominating this season, and I think they'll be able to continue to, to do that by using LT as they have been the whole season and they have the Chiefs basically trying to play catch-up for the most of the game. So I think they'll edge it out. Chargers 35 to Chiefs 21. Now, we have the Steelers and the Panthers. Now, the Steelers' defense may prove too much for a very strong Panthers team who is also coming off three straight losses. So even though they may want this win, I don't think they're going to get it. So say Steelers 24 and Panthers 17. Now, the Jags versus the Titans. After their big, big win over Indy, the Jags have confidence to boot, and I think they're going to be very eager in this game and be trying to play very well offensively, and I think that's what's going to get them over the top with a slight edge over the Titans. Jaguars 24 to a Titans 21. Now, here's my first little disagreement. Um, it's the Jets and the Vikings. Now, the Jets have been surprising all season long. Now, they haven't exactly um, dominated like a, a Chargers or something like that or a, um, a New Orleans team, but I think they could be pulling a little upset over the Vikings. Now, Robert has it Vikings 17 to a Jets 13. Now, I'm going to limb and say that the, Gi the Jets will be able to edge out the Vikings by a couple of points. Now, we have the Niners versus the Seahawks. Now, we have two very high-powered running backs in this competition, and um, Sean Alexander and Frank Gore. And I think um, that they're going to be trying to trade in the yards back and forth. But look for Seattle to play really hard after that loss they took to Arizona, which was also an upset. So we'll say Seahawks 34, Niners 17. Now, the Skins and the Saints. Now, the Saints, of course, have come out of nowhere um, this season and have really been proving themselves as really one of the top teams in the NFL. And I think with Deuce McAllister and Reggie Bush playing like they have these last few games, they'll really be able to pull out an easy win over the Skins. We'll say Saints 31 to Redskins 20. Now, we have the Bucks and the Bears. Now, following the straight massacre <laughs> that the Bears put on the Rams last week, look for them to keep steamrolling the competition with a very weak Bucks team. So we'll say Bears 20 and Bucks 3. Next little disagreement, we have the Dolphins versus the Bills. Now, this is another game that could really go either way. They're both coming off big wins, and both will go in into this game very amped up. But I think that Miami's defense, which has been playing very well, will be able to edge out the Bills. Now, Robert has it. Bills 21 to a Dolphins 20. I'm going to flip that score around and say that the, Bills will, uh, the, the, sorry, the Dolphins will edge out the Bills by a point there. Now, the Texans and the Patriots. Another team, Patriots, they really need to re uh, this win to redeem themselves after that disappointing loss to Miami. And the Texans' poor de defense should l pretty much let Brady control the ball and let him pretty much run it down the field and score some points easily. So I'm going to say Patriots 34 to a Texans now, 10. With this next one, I'm going to have to go out on a small, well, actually a huge limb and say that my Lions will be able to pull it out over the Packers. 
Now, Robert has it Packers 29 to a Lions 22, but I think that judging by the, the game that was played the last time these two teams met, that the Lions should be able to pull it out by exploiting the holes that we've seen in the Packers' defense. And they should be able to get, of course, top-notch kicker Jason Hansen in there, get a couple field goals, and edge them out. So I'll say they'll pull it out in a close win. Now, Browns versus Baltimore. When the teams met early in the season, it was a close game. Baltimore won it on a last-second field goal, but I don't think it'll be able to happen here. I think that Baltimore will have it 17 to a Browns nothing. And finally, the Broncos versus the Cardinals. Now, Denver really needs this win to stay in playoff contention with their losses that they've had. But Arizona has been coming off wins three of the last four games, and I think that they'll really be able to do well, and they might be able to get this one. But the Broncos should edge them out by just one point. We'll say Broncos 23 to a Cardinals 22. Well, that's it for the day before tomorrow. I'm Amber Fox of ForeverAFox.com, and this is Week 15's NFL Picks. Holla.